Also in San Luis Obispo, Cal Poly is making progress against COVID, including its athletic department, which has faced a lot of challenges over the past two years. And News Channel reporter Dave Alley is live on campus. And Dave, football practice signals a big step forward. Yeah, it really does, uh, not just for the football team, uh, but really the campus as a whole, Beth and CJ. Really not, not often that we uh, get to put a, a sports team practice uh, in the news, but we're doing so tonight. That's because this morning at Cal Poly's door field uh, right behind me, the Mustang football team uh, did begin spring camp, something they haven't done uh, in quite a while, all because of the pandemic. <laughs> Mustang football returns, kicking off off-season practice. It's been great to get out here. Uh, really excited to be out here with the guys. It's been a long road. A long road lasting three years. This marking Cal Poly's first spring camp since 2019. We really haven't had a true spring ball first practice going all the way back to when we first got here. The pandemic hitting soon after head coach Bo Baldwin was hired. COVID disrupting not only the program, but the entire athletic department. We had to adjust often. We had to be nimble, and um, sometimes that resulted in, in shutting down practices or games, but we're fortunate to be through most of that now. The return of spring football showing just how much health conditions are improving. Now we're out competing, and, and we don't have all the testing and stuff to do anymore, so that's... That's one less distraction, and, and hopefully we don't have to move in that direction again. Student athletes say the campus is beginning to resemble what it used to look like pre-COVID, signaling a major step forward for the university. The campus has been really buzzing, to be honest. I was in class, first full class, with everybody masked off and everything. The energy, people are excited just to be with each other again. You know, it's been so long. Three, one, two, three, six. Especially considering everything they've gone through. It just strengthened them, and it probably led to even that much more of an appreciation for what we're doing now. You start to appreciate some things you took for granted, and that's kind of that's where I'm at, and that's where I think a lot of our players are. Now, the university just lifted its mask mandate this week at the start of the spring quarter on Monday. The university says it made that decision based on the high vaccination rate here, and it's continuing uh, of testing for those that are unvaccinated, both students and staff. And according to Cal Poly online dashboard, less than 10 students uh, have tested positive for the virus over the past week. All those students live uh, off campus. Reporting live uh, at Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo, I'm News Channel reporter Dave Alley.